Now for the purposes of this tutorial I think I'm going to switch off the hip because what I probably would do is say yes involve the hip but I'd probably have my own setup with this hip that makes it work far better in conjunction with these two joints. So for now I'm just going to pretend that the hip isn't part of this. So we'll just turn that down to two. So it means that this is controlling only the shin and the thigh. Now let's talk about how to control which way the knee points because the knee should be able to point in different directions, especially for a 3D rig. And to do that, we need to come back to edit mode and create a brand new joint. I'll press Shift A and a new bone's been created. I'll select that bone and just move it over here. And I think I'll rotate it minus 90 degrees like that and shrink it down a bit so it's not so big. There we are. And I'll put it in line roughly with the knee. So let's go back to pose mode select the shin and add a pole target. First of all though, I need to give this pole target a name and I'm just gonna call it pole. Pole target is gonna be pole. Let's see if we can find it. Just type in pole if you can't. Pole isn't there. As before with the word target, it's not looking for a bone. It's simply telling you to tell it what it already knows, which is this is armature two. Now it's not as pointless as you might think because a pole target doesn't necessarily sit under the armature 2 object. It could be a random sphere, it could be some other armature, you just don't know. So that's why Blender is asking that. Now the bone is pole. There we are. So now this pole controls which way that knee is pointing. And let's just bend this a bit more so we can see that more clearly. There we are. Bending like that. Now the problem is that the knee is pointing off in that direction and I want it to be pointing exactly at this controller here. So it's not too difficult to do that. Again, just select your shin and come to the pole angle, which you can see here. And you can just click and drag this until the knee is pointing in the direction that you'd like it to be. Now it's likely to be a straight 90 degrees. Yeah, pretty much anyway. So let's have a look at this again now. There we go. So now it's pointing this way, but I can lift the leg up like that and then decide to move the knee slightly like that. So there we have it. We have an IK joint with a pole vector to aim the knee. So I just wanted to make a small interjection where I explain a few additional tips about how to approach this pole vector issue. As much as changing the pole angle is a perfectly good way of doing this and it will work and there's no reason not to you can, if you'd like, get a bit more to the root of the problem by having a look at the roll value that you have on your joints. So if you come up to the end menu and look under item, you'll see that each joint has additional attributes down here, length, envelope, radius, but the one we're looking for is roll. And you'll see that when you move this value, these joints actually turn around like that. Now they've got these arbitrary values on at the moment, and I'm sure they're not arbitrary, there's probably some reason for it. But if you flick them back to zero, like that, what you'll find in pose mode, you don't actually need to change the pole angle at all, because changing the roll does that job for you. Now as you can see, it's not perfectly straight, and there's two things to say about that. The first thing is that, if I just undo a few steps, the first thing is that it's only the thigh that has any impact on this. The shin doesn't change anything. So if I change the roll joint for shin and come back into pose mode, you'll see it's still pointing to the left as it was. If I undo that and I come to the thigh and I change the thigh to zero, you'll see that it's had the full effect. Now, it's still slightly off. And this is where you can come in here and basically straighten the joint so that in orthographic view, this joint is as flat as it can be. And what you'll find is when you then come in to pose mode, changing the roll like that has given you this near perfect result. So that's just another way of changing that issue. You're kind of getting to the root cause of it rather than using this pole angle, which is very much patching the issue instead of getting to the source of the issue, which is the roll value in edit mode.